And here is my cherry compote, as you can see, cold. The juice is much thicker now. Lovely dessert. In full summer, you know, I get beautiful cherries at my market here. And very often I buy them like I bought those and I freeze them to do. I cook them, do pie with it. Here I want to show you how to do a, you know, a kind of little stew of cherries, you know, that, that we do cook with wine and serve. First, you want to take the, the pit out of it. Of course, if you have a cherry pitter, you can use one of those. What you have to do is to press with your hand to soften the center and go with the point of a knife here. And up, as you can see, I get the pit sticking out of it. If you're a bit afraid of this, you can use a large paper clip. Uh, up, you open it like that. And you go in the center of it here, again, and pull out the, the, the pit. So here I have a pound of cherries, which is about, about, uh, about 35, 40 cherries, depending on the size, of course, of your cherries. And uh, like a good teaspoon, teaspoon maybe, teaspoon and a half of, uh, of potato starch or corn starch too. And this has to be diluted, so I'll put a little bit of that juice here to dilute it. And I'll bring it all in there. Okay, I will use here, I would say, well, maybe three quarters, two thirds of a cup of uh, wine. Uh, three quarter, a little dash of vanilla, like maybe a half a teaspoon. Bring it to a boil, and then you want to dilute that starch with the juice here. And when it boiled, you let it boil about a minute, two minutes. What I add to this, because I didn't use the sugar, is a cherry preserve. And I could have put it at the beginning, or now about, about half a cup that I put here. As soon as the starch, which is diluted, touch the liquid, it thickens on contact, right there. So you know exactly where you are. As you can see, the juice now is just slightly, slightly oily like this which of course is going to get thicker as it cool off and you want it to be cold or cool at least from temperature to serve it. And here is my cherry compote, as you can see cold. The juice is much thicker now. Lovely dessert. You can do that of course with plum or other type of thing. That would be enough for like four here. So this, probably a little uh, spoon of uh, sour cream in the middle of it. Maybe a little dash of uh, mint to finish it up. And I like to serve that with a little piece, with some cookie or a little piece of pound cake. You can have a pound cake like this. Maybe I love pound cake. And serve like this. And here is our compote of cherries. Very summer, very delicious. Happy cooking. Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin. It has been a very difficult year for the Jacques Pepin Foundation, I'm sure for you too. We help people with barrier in employment, teach them the culinary skills so that you can rejoin the workforce. It is even more important in our year of recovery. So we haven't been able to do any in-person even this year. So the Jacques Pepin Foundation created that video recipe book with all of those great, great chefs, Jose Andres, Andrew Zimmer, Thomas Keller, Rachel Ray, Daniel Boulou, and more and more. So we want you to join us, help us, support us with our special event on May 14, when Claudine and I will be cooking together at home. Spend some time with the two of us so that we can continue our important work. And I hope you will. Happy cooking.